This tutorial will explain how to connect to a folder and combine its content, but how to connect to the folder stored on your cloud Office 365 environment. Rather than connecting in a conventional way to a folder, when you click get data and you connect to a folder using that option, it will record your data source as being locally stored on your computer rather than keeping the cloud path to your data source. So there is online documentation from Microsoft. So the online Microsoft uh, documentation uh, is well structured and sure explains properly um, the first steps, but uh, the way it is proposed, you rarely get access directly to the files you wish to combine. And the way they go through troubleshooting, I'm gonna make uh, an adjustment to the procedure that they recommend uh, over here. So on my OneDrive, I have a folder. So on my OneDrive and my documents, I have a folder called Power BI, a folder called Demo, and inside Demo, I have another folder called Budget. So I'd like to import that whole budget folder because inside there are complementary budget files that I'd like to combine together to make one table with all my budget information. So uh, let's do so. In Power BI Desktop, it starts with Get Data by clicking on the icon of Get Data button. And then uh, in the search bar, you can type folder and then you easily find the option to connect to a SharePoint folder. By clicking connect, you get a pop-up window requesting a URL. So then you should go to your OneDrive or SharePoint and copy only the root of your URL. So only the beginning of the address and then you do copy and you're gonna paste that in the URL folder. Once you click OK, you will most of the time be prompt for credentials. So by choosing Microsoft account, you click sign in and then you choose the proper account. If you need to change the account selected or if you had selected the wrong one, I have another video showing you how to edit uh, the credentials selected for one data source. As you click connect, most of the time, you will see the whole content of the SharePoint URL you typed in. So that's lots of content. Therefore, you cannot choose here, combine and transform, because you don't want to be combining all those files and you could not because they're all different types of files. So you simply click transform data and this will launch your Power Query editor. And here's the difference from what is suggested from the Microsoft online documentation. I recommend you should scroll to the right and go to the folder path column. Over here, you wanna click in the top right corner of the folder path header and click on the gray square to get access to text filters. And you're gonna use text filters that ends with. And here you're gonna type in uh, the name of the folder you wish to be working with. So intentionally, I'm gonna type only for now the name of my folder with the front slash. So budget, so that is the end of the path to the folder that I'm interested in. Yet, you'll notice that uh, in many repositories on my SharePoint, I have a few folders called budget. Okay, so you see here loads of files of different file types, different years. So many times in my uh, SharePoint, I have created folders called budget with different files in it. That is why I'm gonna go back to the applied step created. So from the right panel, you can go back to a step and my filtering 
I recommend that you type in uh, a little string of how is the path to your folder ending. So me, the path was Power BI demo budget. So then by typing in a longer string of your path, you are sure to end uh, with the proper content that you wish to combine. And then final step is to uh, navigate to the first column called content. And in the header, you'll find an icon with double down arrows. So by clicking on that, Power BI will then go through the sequence of combining folders. Currently, my folder combining files. Currently, my folder contains Excel files. So it could have been text, CSV, or other file types, as long as they're all the same. So that's why I'm getting this preview window uh, about the first file stored in my folder. And then I need to make relevance selections depending on what type of files I'm using. So as these are um, Excel files, uh, I choose one sheet. So those were French Excel files. So the sheets were called Feuille. And I just choose which sheet I wish to use to combine. And quite often, once the process is completed, your Power Query window will get minimized. So you simply need to browse on your computer to find your Power Query window that's been minimized. And here's the end result expected. So what I see in a query uh, is the resulting table where all the files from my folder have been appended, one underneath the other. And on the left panel, there's the classic folder. So the top folder was created by Power BI and would give me the opportunity if I'd like to make some transformations to each of the files prior to combining them. But it is on query one uh, that I get the final result that I was looking for. And here, this data source is not linked to my local computer in any way. If I click on the applied step source, I see that the source is a web source. And that's gonna make things easier if we are many people updating that file um, and we all have access to that shared folder. Or uh, once I publish on the Power BI service, I won't be needing uh, a gateway if none of my data sources are locally stored.